Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Yeah, I think this is our final Come fight in, with Mary. him. No guards to save you this time. Oh. So I can tell you what happens now Again, since he's only fighting. Harder. Like after we this beat him, he pulls a knife on you, and then you just straight up kill him, and then that's pretty much it. to hit harder than that. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! I'm not sure if he swings a second time. Good. out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to working for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other? Is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Chapter 7 already. It's pretty quick. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. You notice how it was uh, winter back now? Now we're in, like, Act 2 of the game. And uh, it's a new season, so just like four seasons in the game. If 
Yeah. So, let's see. This is our old place. Hey, which way you going? So we're officially in Act 2 of the game now. I think it's either summer or spring. You break out of jail? Ah, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Ooh. Damn, it's good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Once the cop is out of my sights, we should be good. Nope, there's another one right there. As you guys know, or if you've been following the story, shit escalated real quickly. It's getting interesting now. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm trying to get a lot of videos out daily so you guys have something to watch as well. Alright, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Your new apartment is on the top floor. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom, and there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak, always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Fancy. All right. 
get dressed into a suit. Do I have to go buy the suit? Or do I just happen to have one randomly? Okay, so... Yeah, let's close the door. We have to go buy one now. Why would you put it all the way on the top floor game? Really? Oh god. Driving here is going to be a pain. Feels kind of choppy. Oh, but again, we're running at like 50 FPS right now. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> Look like a doofus, but whatever. Enjoy. Hey, watch it. Get the fuck it. Why don't you close your door when you Making progress. Let's go. Without all the snow on the ground, it actually looks like a nicer place. Everything's all neat and colorful. To be honest, in this game, I don't even think you have to go buy many guns. Like, for the missions you do, they give it to you. So that's always neat. Start it up. I hate how getting to the objective is so far away. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. I think I have an idea, but I don't know for sure. So many cops. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that, now, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. 
Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? This guy's not moving. What do you want me to do? I think it shit goes down in the club a little bit. Oh my god. He just turned the corner like that. He didn't even signal. That's pretty close. I thought it was gonna crash. This isn't it. We're, we have to get into a car again. Oh my god, wait for him to go. Triple cars. Yep. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> Are you gonna get hey, in the fucking car? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all of us. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> Get in the car. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> oh. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, no, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? <laughs> hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Well, that escalated whoa, whoa, whoa. quickly. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spat you. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? <laughs> a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Hey! Okay. Wow, fuck you, guy. Dude, how far? Oh my god. We're not. Oh, that's so far away. Wait till we get out of the city area, oh. then I can turn off the oh. limiter. Oh, stop. Now, I'm gonna hurl. Uh, too late. <laughs> oh. 
Excellent. Ah, oh, Christ, Eddie. That, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now that we crap by hit and driver. Copy that. Dude. There's no way to lose it now. I'm like, he's on me, and there's only one way to go. It's a nice bridge. We get to a cutscene, we should lose the cops, and we're good. I hope. If it doesn't work out like that, then I'll do some edit. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Get the fuck out of the way. Emergency. What are you guys doing up here? Uh, going to bury a body? I mean, nope. I really hope we could lose these cops in here. All right, we're here. <clears throat> uh. Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> God damn it, new shoes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long has this guy been in here, Eddie? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Boom! <laughs> hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Oh. <laughs> Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any ah, help here. Fine, he... whatever. Hey fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to this go. This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but Good it's night, nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Are we good? I think we're good. Alright then.